Okay. Um, very good win for our program. Uh, I'd like to start out by just thanking uh, the Auburn fans that traveled here. Um, they, they were a big factor today. Really appreciate uh, them being here, and it meant a lot to our to our team and a lot to our players. You know, offensively, it really stood out to me as we were able to run the football. And um, you know, we've always been our best. We've been balanced and. Uh, have over 200 yards rushing was huge. Uh, another thing that really stood out to me was the third quarter. Um, you know, we've had some troubles this year in the third quarter coming out of halftime, and we played probably our best quarter uh, during the third quarter and kind of put the game away defensively. <clears throat> you know, they're a very scary offense. Uh, the receivers, they got a run game, their offensive line, I'm very impressed with. Their quarterback's a runner, and for us to really hold them like we did um, and then we didn't give up the big plays so really that was really the plan to try to keep everything in front of us and uh, and tackle and, and I thought for the most part we we tackled well you know really what stood out to me also is boy there's a bunch of young guys that made plays today a bunch of guys offensively that made plays um, a bunch of young guys defensively made plays but uh, overall I'm real happy for our uh, our players and our staff uh, we still got things we got to work on. I mean, there were still things that uh, we could have done better. Um, I think the, the big thing for me right now is we got an off week coming up and it couldn't be coming at a better time. We need to heal up a little bit, um, give us a chance to kind of see where we're at, uh, get us a good plan for the next four games uh, to finish this thing off the right way. And today's win uh, really will help us in that direction. Questions? How do you think you guys did with uh, Jeremiah and Jamel? Not able to start yeah, I thought uh, that was big, you know, not having Dean here. I mean, Dean's, uh, you know, he's an impact player. Um, and our, our corners just really stepped up and played a whole lot of snaps. And, you know, not having Denson, which is really one of our leaders um, in the first half, those young guys really stepped up. Very proud of those guys um, and those two guys' absence because when you got two of your best players that aren't available in the first half, I mean, that's uh, against offense like that, that's, that's a scary thought. Yes, the only Stortson set that one touch in the first half. Was that an emphasis coming out in the third quarter? Yeah, yeah, you know, um, you know, both those guys. I think everybody can see these young guys are, and Shivers I thought did some good things too, and and Booby Whitlow, another freshman. I mean, you know, those guys are are, are getting better, and uh, like I said, one of the one of the biggest pluses I think today is we were able to run the football. You said down the field before the game, we're going to play a lot better today. You had yeah. that feeling, that confidence. Yeah. What, what were you seeing in practice that made you think? You know, um, I mean, obviously we went through a storm, you know, last week uh, with all the negativity and everything that goes with it. And with that, um, you know, either, either divides, which, you know, a lot of people I, I think root for that, uh, or it brings you together. And we've got super young men in that locker room and uh, with high character. Um, and we got a bunch of really good coaches that uh, you know are really close to their players, and and we had really good practice. Probably you know some of the most spirited practice we've had, and uh, just that feeling that we're going to play good football today and start playing like we can, and uh, I expect that we will you know the rest of the, the season. You said you, you feel like sometimes that negativity, some people root for. People divide. Are you speaking about fans, or what, what do you mean by who's rooting? No, you, you know I, we got great fans. Okay, I, I'd, I'd say it's uh, it's all others, to be honest with you. But that's part of it. That's part of it. I mean, this is a deal that you know we need to. Obviously, we're, we weren't happy with the way we played. You know, there for a couple week stretch, and uh, but no, I think we're in a real good spot now moving forward. I'm surprised about how well Marley played today. Been you know, uh, you know, blocking. Uh, Three field goals in three weeks. I think is that correct? I mean, that's that's unbelievable. I mean, you know, and you know, affecting affecting the game. And I thought he, you know, he played well defensively too. And he's a guy that wasn't 100. percent You know, he's a guy that uh, you know didn't practice a whole lot during the week. So uh, real proud of him. Talk about Booby's game. I mean, he was really good for you. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, Booby. You know, Booby's another guy that wasn't 100 percent coming in here. And uh, you know, he got a little dinged up in one one moment we put him back in there and then he got dinged up again but you had a big game you know that touchdown on that the smoke draw that busted out the the backside i thought was uh, you know really one of the big plays in the game i know we fumbled going in but schwartz was pretty opportunistic right there jumping on that uh you know i, I really don't know the details uh yet you know i saw him in the locker room we'll, we'll find out more the third quarter has been kind of a struggle for you guys offensively this season, but this is your best quarter today. 
what was kind of any changes in the halftime, what was said, what kind of got y'all going? You know, uh, just I think we had a decent idea of what to expect, and it was kind of more of, you know, how you uh, run the football. Um, we felt like we could. And then I think we had a, a big pass play to Seth. That was a, another big one right there. I think they were playing buck sweep, playing the run, and just kind of hit a little bit of a play action down that seam. Defensively, where did, where, I mean, obviously this is a big game, but that performance, as depleted as you guys were, is that one of those that you'll remember for a while? Yeah, I, I think so. Against that offense, uh, that's an extremely scary offense to go against because the quarterback can run. The quarterback draw, they're about as good as you'll see with that. And the running back, and like I said, their offensive line is, is veteran guys. I mean, they're all special players, I think. Um, and then you throw those receivers, and you know they got some very talented receivers. So very proud of our defense today. Uh, third downs did an excellent job, and that was a point of emphasis too. Was this the best game you think about the offensive line when it came to just plowing the road? You, you know, I, I think running the football, um, you know, for 200 and some yards. You know, I think that was uh, really a big key to the game. You know, really made a point that we're going to rush for 200 yards. That was kind of our mindset, and. Uh, you know, when you're able to run the football, it opens up everything uh, else, and so we got to continue to build upon that. Just what happened there uh, when you were called for the unsportsmanlike penalty? Yeah, so. I'm gonna fight for our players, so that's that's what happened. Did you let customers slip? No. <laughs> uh, you I teased didn't. us with some tweaks that you said you might do on yeah. Tuesday. Were they so subtle that I just missed them, or, or what, what kind of new things? Uh, we we ran the football better. Um, you know, Malik. Had a had a player two in there. We planned on uh, trying to put him in there early to see see what could happen right there. Um, you know, his ability, um, you know, to help us. You know, I think will help us moving forward too, uh, just as a change up. So, um, but yeah, there were some tweaks. You know, if you look at the film and all that, and, and I think more than anything now that we have a off week, as a coach, you'll be able to really sit back and. Identify our strengths, identify the things that we need to get better on, and, and have a really good plan. You know, for the the last four weeks. Nick Cole had three sacks against one of the top tackles in the SEC. Yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, Nick Cole's really coming on, and you know, he made a really good play on the scramble to, on our sideline too. Because if he hadn't made that play, the guy would have got the first down. And Nick's playing a high level. And uh, like I said, I, we we really put pressure on the guy with four four guys, and, and that was really uh, the plan to try to put pressure with four guys and we did that and that was a huge key in the game. Yes, with, the, with the bye week coming up and with kind of how inconsistent Congress has been with field goals, do you kind of, do you maybe look at someone else in practice? No, I mean, I, you know, um, I really think putting him in a situation that we ask him to do so many long field goals didn't help. And being a kicker is a lot about confidence. He's a very talented kicker and uh, it'll be good that we'll have a week to, you know, really refocus, and uh, there's no doubt in my mind that that he'll, uh, you know, he'll end, end the season strong. Sean, Sean had Sean had ten carries uh, this mm -hmm. afternoon. It was something he's shown in practice. He got to get more more ball. Yeah, you know, he's 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 a speed guy. You know, he's he's capable of uh, turning a short one into a long one, and uh, he's been practicing extremely well. And you know, anytime you get the ball in the hands of a speed guy, they got a chance to take it to the house, and so you know, he's earned that right. How's Jack Pisco doing? How do you think I'll do this? Yeah, um, you know, I think he, he, he uh, re-injured the, the same knee, I believe. I don't know exactly how serious, but I'll say this. I mean, that that, that young man is a tough young man. Uh, he hadn't played, you know, 100% the last couple of weeks, but he really wanted to play and fight for our guys. And, uh, you know, hopefully we'll get him healed up because he's, a, he's an excellent player. Yeah, real proud of Trox, you know, came in there and, uh, the second half and just did a super job. And, you know, Trox is a guy that he's been waiting on his moment. And, uh, you know, we ran behind him quite a bit. So uh, that was really encouraging to see him do what he did today against an SEC opponent. All right, Coach. Thank you. Thank you.